Yo, welcome back to uh, History and Coffee. And uh, today we're going to be once again continuing our series on paranormal history. And uh, I came across an interesting story. I'm, it's been pretty popular uh, in the UFO circles, but I figured I'd talk about it. There's a lot of interesting, like, theories as to what caused this and. Uh, kind of ties in with that video where I was talking about the um, the U.S. Army uh, using uh, like vampire mythology to defeat a, uh, you know, like basically psyops crap. So this took place in uh, 1955 in Hopkinsville, Kentucky, and it became known as the Hopkinsville Invasion or the Hopkinsville Goblin and all this kind of shit. It's basically this family eight living up in the hills of Kentucky there, and uh one evening, uh, it was the Sutton family, those are their names. I can't remember their individual names, but, uh, so one, one evening, uh, the ju junior Sutton, who was the, uh, the eldest child, uh, is out going for an evening walk, and, uh, he sees some weird lights and shit in the sky, and, uh, he notices that the, the light seemed like it dipped down below the horizon and kind of crashed into a, uh, a field not far from his house. So he sees this, this is kind of shocking, and now 1955, we're, we're at the height of the sort of, sort of UFO slash Cold War panic, so people are thinking about this shit, you know. So he runs home, you know, tells his family, I can't remember how many adults and how many children, but there was eight all together, and he says, hey, you know, I've seen this, um, this weird light crash into the valley down there, and, uh, you know, they're kind of like, oh, wow, well, well, you know. Uh, I guess in the morning we'll go check it out. But that night when it got dark, they noticed some sort of strange glowing coming out of that area. Uh, and uh, if you're if you're already noticing the parallels between uh, this and that sort of uh, H.G. Wells' War of the Worlds uh, opening, uh, it's definitely not lost on me. <laughs> but of course, this was alleged to have actually happened. Um, they were sitting down eating dinner, um, you know, somewhat nervously because it's glowing, and they looked out the window and saw a what they described as a little green goblin approaching the house. Um, being that this was 1955 in Kentucky, the family, the men in the family, immediately grabbed their shotguns and um, uh, pointed them out, and then you know, basically, hey, you know, get out of here, or we're going to shoot. The creature continued to advance, throwing its hands out in a, a threatening manner, and they fired uh, on this creature. Uh, according to them, the creature then flopped on its back and then jumped up and, and ran off at, like, breakneck speeds, like they weren't able to get a bead on it. And for the next four hours, more and more of these creatures kept advancing on the home. And this Basically, a gun battle ensued for four hours between the, the Sutton family and these creatures. At one point, one got up on the roof and uh, took a swipe at the, the Sutton's father um, and, I guess, knocked his hat off his head. And, but the, the whole farmhouse was basically riddled with bullet holes. Every time they'd hit these creatures, they'd say that they kind of flop over them most cartoonishly on their back and then run off. Um, now... In 1955, you lived in the hills of the Kentucky. You didn't have a telephone. You didn't have any of that stuff. So they had to wait for uh, daylight, and they were sure these creatures were gone. They went into town and got the police. Now, what's interesting is when the, when the police came back, they came back with a whole contingent of National Guard. They really thought that something was going on here. And uh, when they searched the area, they found these little puddles of sort of luminescent uh, green, what they believed to be blood from these creatures where they had hit them. Um, the, Mr. Sutton, the eldest uh, man in the family, was so shaken up by this, he, he was almost unable to speak for hours. He was inconsolable. He basically broke down. Um, and now this sounds almost too fantastic to believe, but this family had absolutely nothing to gain from this. They didn't gain anything financially, and in fact, they became pariahs in their own community for telling the story. Um, but the, the physical evidence is there, the green pools of blood, uh, the, the family members, of course, that are still alive, the children, they still recount the story word for word, and it's never changed. 
uh, the police officers that were on the site, they noted the physical evidence, the, the bullet holes, the blood, all that stuff. So, but, you know, what happened? Did, 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 did Kentucky get invaded by aliens in 1955? Or was this some sort of, um, as I'm leaning, I think it was a government PSYOP experiment. I think that they, they staged this to test out um, that sort of similar thing that they pulled in the 1950s uh, in the Philippines with the vampires. I mean, of course, you know, I don't know what happened. I wasn't there, but um, it's interesting. A bit of history, nonetheless, and certainly uh, fits in the paranormal category. Um, and this, of course, is a very condensed version. Um, there, there's a lot of con condensed version. Jesus, I can't even talk today. Mm. Mm. Yeah, you can go on YouTube or anything and get, like, a whole play-by-play -play of... Um, you know, I mean, it, it was a gun battle that lasted four hours between uh, a family and, uh, you know, basically little green men from Mars. <laughs> so, uh, you know, check that out if you're interested. And thanks for watching.